I made this wreath a couple years ago, and my girlfriend asked me to glue a hat on it, but I thought I would take this opportunity to show you how it's made. So first of all, you need a grapevine wreath and paint it black. So this, as you can see, is the grapevine wreath, and I sprayed it black all the way around really good. Then you're going to need a skeleton like this, and here is that skeleton, how he comes. They are like tied together. It's pretty funky looking. Um, you can pretty much get these anywhere these days. The dollar store, um, the Halloween, Halloween's decoration store, whatever the costume store. They have them just about everywhere. Walmart even. So grab you one of those. And they are, let me see, this is a Halloween store. It doesn't say how much it was, but I know they're around $10 or something like that. So you'll take that apart. And you're also going to need some Spanish moss like this. You're going to need your glue gun and some glue sticks. So get your glue gun on, turned on, get it heating up. Then you're going to take, get some picks. These picks were from Hobby Lobby. There's probably five of them. I always use an odd number. It's like if you think of five on a dice, I mean, it's going to, instead of, if you did four, you're going to have one there, one there, one there, one there. So at five, it kind of breaks up a little bit better. And then you're going to need, she had this little um, black um, marker board or whatever it is, chalkboard, there it is. But she used permanent paint and she put, oh, I'm totally starving. And we glued the little skull on here and some little uh, um, muslin, they were gray muslin. And what I did was, first of all, I put this moss down use the glue gun and I left some pieces. You want it to be kind of stringy. It's kind of the effect to make it look like it's, you know, old and, and like cobwebish. Anyways, that's how it looks in the nighttime. Then you're going to take and tie wire around the neck. So she put a spider in his mouth, but I glued, you can see there's a hot glue gun, right? Hot glue right there. But I put um, a wire, you can see that green wire right there. It's actually going around his neck, tied up there. And then I believe I tied, yes I did, I wired his feet. You can see that wire right there? I wired his feet on here. Now you could, if you like the feet to plop down, you could do that, but I, the picture that she showed me that she wanted, he was sitting on the wreath. So the rest of him is just sitting there. He's not wired anywhere else. His hands are free to go. But uh, she clipped a little spider. It's a little clip that comes on and off. And then after that, I started breaking apart the picks. I pull, I always pull picks apart because they're always on one spray. So I pull sections apart and use my wire cutters to cut them off. And then I put glue on the end and just kind of place them all around except for right here. I really just, I didn't put any where the Spanish moss is. But I did put them where it's coming out of here, overlapping. You want some going in this direction and some going in that direction. And I usually make a focal point, you know, usually where your bow was going to be. And that, it, instead of a bow, we had a little plaque here saying we're totally starving. Now, I did wire. There was no place to wire it. So there was um, a little hole right here. And I tied ribbon around it. And I think I tied it here, too. I, oh, I actually glued his hand to this one. You can see there's a little wire right there. So that kind of holds it in place. Especially here in Phoenix in the summertime. If you have this, well, you won't have this out in the summertime just for Halloween. So never mind that. But anytime you're using hot glue gun, consider the temperatures outside because if it's hot like it is here in Phoenix, it will come undone. So anyways, with that being said, I did spray a little bit of glitter on the wreath to match some of the picks here, but you can't really tell. Just like right there, you can see there's a little bit of glitter here and there. So it's no biggie, but the picks add just enough of that uh, glitter to, to get the job done. So all that is, is glued on, just glue it. Make sure you get all your places covered. And then I tied a bow around his neck here and I'm, she put a little spider in his mouth and I'm about to glue this hat on. She brought this hat over and I'm going to take this thingy apart. Now, she got this at the dollar store for buck forty nine. That's a pretty good deal because sometimes at the Halloween store, these are like $10, $15 a piece. Now, what you want to do is take this headband off. There's a little seam right there where it's glued on. Just pull it apart. If you have to, get it hot with your glue gun. Don't put glue on it. Just heat it up and pull it apart. 
And then I am going to take and glue ribbon on here. And then I'm going to put the hat on his head and tie the ribbon underneath his chin. And I will probably put a little glue on his head too, but I'm gonna ultimately make it tie around his, around his chin. So it's pretty easy guys, just give it a try. It's really fun to make. These Halloween wreaths are a blast to do and they have a great impact on your door. They look awesome. So hope you got inspired and you wanna try this because I am going to do this next one right there with some ribbon. So have fun. Talk to you later. Bye.